What up, Super Players? It's the homie C Round, and today what I got for you guys is a Vegito deck profile. We got Goku, we got Vegeta, we got the earrings. They're gonna fuse and they're gonna make this freaking deck. So let's get straight to it. So boom, we got Vegito right here. Look at this Vegito. Uh, this leader is a set two leader, and I've been breaking my freaking head trying to make this guy as strong as I can and make him win. And this is the deck that I've made that has actually gotten W's. And believe it or not, I can beat a cell engine I could beat super 17 the only deck that I struggle against with this deck is uh, it happens to be storm but I think that's just because that deck is broken but uh yeah this is the strongest version of Vegito that I have ever made so check it out and hit a like if you like this video and subscribe for more DBS TCG action so Vegito what does he do he has a permanent skill that all Sun Goku and Vegeta's become multicolor for three different colors red blue and green in in all areas in the game for you so that's freaking strong and for that reason we have Goku's and Vegeta's stacked in this deck mostly this entire deck is pure Goku's and Vegeta's so if you're, you're a Goku and Vegeta fan this is your deck right here so when this card attacks you get one card from the top of your deck and you get to put it in the drop area and if it happens to be a red card he gains a 5k boost power making him a 15k meaning he ha he could always bring offense and pressure to your opponent which is very good and you're always going to want to do that ability because you get to activate certain cards in your deck that I'm going to show you that uh, activate based on how many cards you have in the drop area so that's him and at 4 lives or less you get to awaken and draw 2 cards and then boom you have awakened into Super Saiyan Vegito right here and he's freaking good as well. So same permanent skill all Goku's and Vegeta's are three different colors in all areas and now he has an auto that when this card attacks he gains a 5k boost power and double strike if you happen to have 10 Goku's and Vegeta's in your drop area and that's gonna be relatively easy to do because you're always gonna be wanting to use Vegito's unawakened ability right and Put a card from the top of your deck in the drop area and always is going to be a Goku or a Vegeta. Guarantee almost always. And uh, when you have 10 Gokus and Vegetas, he gains an extra buff and then he becomes a lethal attack. Very freaking strong leader. So that's that. And now we got Kind Saiyan Son Goku. He's our one drop, one energy. You play him, you get to pick up seven. Add a blue Goku among them to your hand then put the cards back and shuffle your deck. The reason this is good is because he's our one turn must play because uh, not only do you get to search for a Goku that's blue, well our leader makes all Gokus blue, um, he's our ideal Union Patora battle card because when you Union Patora, when you get the earrings, both a Goku and a Vegeta have to be in the battle area in order to fuse. So this guy is an easy one drop Goku that you can fuse with. And he's a searcher, very strong card, and he's a 5k combo for you to combo. And as you guys are going to see, most of these Gokus and Vegetas are 5k combo power, so you're always going to be able to defend your butt. Then this guy, believe it or not guys, this guy right here is one of the MVPs of the deck. He's a barrier blocker Goku. And the ideal reason that he's a uh, MVP of the deck is because he's a barrier Goku to drop. And you play him, this is your, you want to play this guy turn two if you have him because he's going to protect your butt. He's just a little blocker right there, but that one barrier blocker is a must, it, it completely stops an attack and it, it stalls your opponent out from awakening you because you're going to have one protective defensive and if you never use it then you could union fusion with this guy very strong goku barrier blocker goku one of my favorite cards in the deck then we got a three drop comrades goku you pick up seven when you play him and then you get to play a vegeta that you picked up that's three costs or less in rest mode and um the reason this is good is because uh, it has to be a blue Vegeta, but luckily our leader makes all Vegetas blue as well. So you're going to always hit, and we have a lot of Vegeta targets in here. So we have the Goku and Vegeta on play in order to Union Fusion, and it's just offensive pressure like no other once you get a swarm of Vegeta and Gokus on the field. So we got three of those. Freaking strong card. I love that card. And then I only have one of these. I'm thinking of bumping into two. 
maybe I'll bump it to two, but one of these, Master Ultra Instincts, he becomes a four cost battle card if you have three lives or less. And when he comes into play, he K's, K KO something, he kills something. And if the card you K like killed, KO'd, uh, was in rest mode, you draw one card, and he's a 25k double strike, you could go for game with this guy. Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, coming in clutch. I'm thinking of bumping it to two, honestly. And then we got Preface of Recovery Son Goku. This is what I call my sniper of the deck. Uh, for three energies, he comes into play, then you get to restand two of your energies, back to active mode, making him pretty much a one drop, 15k barrier, you can fusion with this card because he's a barrier, they're not going to remove him. And, as well as, I like to use them for attacks. I play them, I attack, I attack, I attack. This is what is uh, the offensive pressure of my deck. So we got four of these because uh, he's just very, very good for causing damage. And now our uh, Vegeta's. He's a barrier 20,000 uh, Vegeta, which is very good. That's This is the ideal you want to hit off of the Comrades Goku. You want to hit this Vegeta because he's offensive pressure. 20k body barrier your bodies your opponent's gonna have to attack him and get rid of him or else Vegito's gonna come out guaranteed so we are we have four of these and uh, honestly I'll probably drop it a three and add one more of the Master Ultra Instinct Goku's in here but for now I have three just so we could target and hit off of the comrades Goku then another Vegeta 20k body Offensive pressure not, not like no other and another target for comrades Goku so you don't whiff off of that We have three of these. He's very good for pressure and just your opponent's gonna have to get rid of him He's a 20,000 either they, they kill him with skills or they attack him and uh, Whenever they're not attacking your leader you're winning then we got glory obsessed Prince Majin Vegeta. So we have him in here for removal. He's also another target for Comrade Son Goku. And uh, when he comes into play, he has a special skill, permanent skill, that if uh, our leader is red, this card can attack cards in active mode. And our leader, Vegito, is red, so this guy can attack cards in active mode. And when he attacks, uh, a battle card, he gains 10k power, making him a 25,000 power battle card. And he can attack active cards, so he's gonna he's a removal. He removes battle cards, and he goes back to active after he attacked the battle card. So this guy's freaking strong, very strong Majin Vegeta. And then we got our one drop Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, very good. This is the ideal card you want to fusion, Union fusion with. So uh, turn one, you play this Goku. Uh, turn two, uh, your opponent attacks you. You you defend with this guy. After you combo with this guy, he comes into play, and now you got a Goku and Vegeta on play to fuse. And uh, this guy is just a very strong Vegeta, one drop Vegeta to come into play. Very strong combo play card. Love that card. And then our alternative win con condition. This guy, if your opponent stalls you out, because people when they see Vegeta, they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna stall this guy out." It doesn't work anymore, man. Don't stall out your opponents. The game has changed, people. And this guy, when you comes into play, if you have uh, five energies, you get to you, you can activate his main ability. Take two of your lives. He gains 3k power for every energy you have, and you get to pop one of your opponent's battle cards, so he's removal. And when he comes into play, you restand one energy and draw a card. Freaking bananas, man. And he gains triple strike. That's what makes this guy broken. Triple strike. You could go for game with this guy. Very strong card right there. And then we have our Gokus and Vegetas there. Now we got what makes Vegito Vegito. So for three energies, if you have a Goku and you have a Vegito on play, you get to fusion, right? They fuse and make Vegito with the Union Patora. Then when this guy attacks, he can attack active cards. After he attacks, you get 10 cards from the top of your deck, you put them in the drop area, and then after that, if you happen to have a Vegito in the drop area, you get to e put this guy back to active mode and evolve the, uh, the Vegito in your drop area on top of this card. So this card, you want to see it in your hand. This is You want to have this card in your hand, turn one, guarantee. So we have four of these. <laughs> then after that, this is the Vegito you're going to want to evolve into, Hyper Rush SSB Vegito. So you evolve into this guy. This is a special rare to boot. This guy's freaking bananas. Triple Strike. When he comes into play with the Union Fusion, 
you get to choose two cards from your life, add them to your hand. You have, you can, you don't have to. And not only that, you draw two cards. Not only that, you get to get one of your opponent's battle cards and one card from your opponent's hand and put them in the drop area. And he's a triple strike banana monster. Puppy. This guy's freaking bananas. So you're going to want a fusion. And this is the target you're going to want to have in the drop area with... Uh, with your lightning speed Vegito. So you get this guy on board and you're doing some damage. And then I had to throw this guy in here. He is just a secret rare 40,000 triple attack, triple strike, Super Saiyan Blue, freaking crazy. Uh, it, I rarely play him, but I like having him in here just because I actually got in some wins with him and it's freaking awesome. It's freaking awesome, man. And then, last but not least, are super combos, sparking five. You need five in the drop, which you will once you activate uh, Vegito's effect every single time you attack or combo and stuff. Uh, 10k boost, draw, Master Roshi. He's a red, also very good. And last but not least, after image technique, this is our counter. This is what stops an attack. And this one is a little tricky one, sparking five as well. So you don't even have to use energy, sparking five. You play for free, so you can be tapped out and still stop an attack and uh, reduces one of your opponent's battle cards by 10k allowing you to kill some battle cards that are weak and on top of that one of your battle cards or leader cards gains 40,000 power allowing you to survive the attack so that's gonna be it I want to say hit a like on this Vegito deck profile for more Vegito action and Subscribe if you're new here and let me know how, what you guys would add and change and like we always say y'all stay super